This is Witchspace News for Friday the 10th of July 2020 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news there's a patch coming next week, Frontier reacts to the AXI community goal, there's a player initiative to bring improvements to CQC and more. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing to the channel and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. That stuff really helps us smaller creators. Frontier announced yesterday that a new patch will be coming to the game next week. In the announcement they stated that the plan is for the patch notes to drop on Monday the 13th of July with the patch itself following on Wednesday the 15th of July. Whilst there's no word on exactly what is planned for the patch yet a mining exploit has been proving problematic for them to fix so it's likely that that will be addressed again at the very least. As you may be aware as part of their quest to try and make the Thargoid an endangered species the AXI player group are running an ambitious, entirely player driven community goal right now utilising the commodity market on their official squadron fleet carrier. With its own webpage, completion, tracking and promotional video the effort put in and the work involved has not gone unnoticed at Frontier and the company has stepped up with a one time only ship decal reward for anyone delivering a Thargoid heart to the fleet carrier as part of the community goal. Frontier has been tracking progress since the beginning and if you've already delivered a heart you'll be included in those stats however there is still tons of work to do to make sure the goal is completed on time. As of this recording the goal still needs over 8000 hearts to be delivered before the now extended end date of the 20th of August. That's a serious amount of dead Thargoids but one awesome decal. There's a new player initiative to shine a light on the somewhat maligned and underutilised CQC portion of Elite Dangerous right now. Suggestions on how the arena portion of the game can be improved are currently being encouraged and compiled in a special channel in the CQC Discord server. The plan is to collate all the responses and submit them to Frontier to aid any potential forward development of the standalone PvP arena matches. In case you're unaware you can now queue for CQC matches from the social panel of the main game while you're in your ship. Participation in the matches is entirely fighter and small ship based and has no detrimental effect on the main game whatsoever. You can't lose any ships or credits etc from participation in CQC and getting killed in a CQC match won't set you back at a starport. The two are almost entirely separate entities. By coincidence here at the pit we recently held an impromptu CQC evening having never really tried it out properly before just to see what it was like and found it to be really good fun. In fact our normally placid camera operator Commander Rini discovered a serious affiliation for firing laser cannons and developed a significant bloodlust during the event. It was so much fun in fact that we're planning on doing another one really soon. To add your thoughts to the CQC improvement discussion there's a link to the CQC Discord server below. There's a project underway from Commander Pseudonymous Cypher on Reddit to collate any overlapping tritium hotspots throughout the galaxy and add them to their clickable and searchable web resource essentially creating a tritium database for long distance carriers to use for refuelling. A truly invaluable tool for any carrier based exploration the companion app is linked below. The Elite community is never short of high quality fan created content for their favourite space sim and in that vein the Fangs webcomic released its latest edition this week. If you've not checked out Fangs before it really is a hell of a thing to behold and this latest edition that tells the story of a Cobra pilot lost in witch space has seriously upped the already ludicrously high bar that Fangs has set for itself. Don't miss out ...it's linked in the description below. And finally after 3 months 759,000 light years, nearly 124,000 bodies scanned and well in excess of 10,000 jumps 
we're very pleased and seriously humbled to report that the apparently utterly unstoppable Commander Zebadian has completed their latest project to once again create art on the face of the galaxy. This time the logo of this very YouTube channel. Commander we salute you and are frankly in awe of your determination, dedication and patience. Thank you Zibs from everyone here. You are simply amazing. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.